Um, welcome to the penultimate session of the day. And um, Tomasz Piktisch is from Chatwurst. <laughs> we'll actually <laughs> talk about mobile strategies. So okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the first time a foreign girl was able to say my name yesterday night, actually, from the first time. Uh, my name is Tomasz Piktisch, uh, and uh, I'm a head of business development uh, at Chatwurst. And um, first of all, thanks for DevGam to having me here today. It's a great honor to be uh, at the first DevGam um, in Germany, in Hamburg. And um, the reason why I'm here is actually twofold. So first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm a savvy and avid uh, strategy games player. So this is my favorite genre. I started playing it uh, many years ago and started with the computers and then browser games and then with the, with the creation and introduction of smart posts, uh, I started playing it on, on, on mobile uh, platform. Uh, so that's a proof. That's my village on the Clash of Clans. It's two years in imaging, countless hours spent and some in-app purchases. Um, it's very hard to get away from that much work, so I still continue uh, playing it after two years. <laughs> and uh, the other reason why I'm here is uh, uh, that I work at this fantastic company, Charboost. And uh, who here does not know um, what is Charboost? Right, great. I have some explaining to do. Great, great stuff. So, Charboost is the uh, world's largest uh, mobile uh, games only platform. We um, are powering about 200,000 games uh, in 116 countries and reaching 700 million uh, monthly active users. And we are seeing 20 billion uh, monthly game sessions on our platform. And um, we are privileged to work with all those great companies uh, that moving the needle in the scratched uh, industry and we learn together with them and, and from them and uh, we do it uh, every day. So uh, that's why I'm so excited to be here and uh, I know there were different keynotes about, uh, uh, about design, about gameplay, etc. So I'm here to really shed some light on the, on the business side of, of strategy games. And uh, as for agenda, um, today I'm going to shed some light on uh, relevant data, on, uh, on retention, on payer conversion, on average revenue per daily active user. I'm going to compare it uh, with different uh, game categories and in-app uh, purchase analysis as well going to be there. I'm going to show you a um, five awesome strategy game advertising uh, examples, uh, creative examples that we lately saw on our platform. And um, I'm going to share the few ad design best practices and tips from our good friends uh, at, at Zynga Studios. So hopefully after this presentation, um, you will have additional knowledge, knowledge arsenal uh, that helps you navigate through this crowded space and find and, and build your success. Okay, so uh, without uh, further ado, uh, let's deep dive and take a closer look at some uh, valuable data we see uh, on, on our platform, like retention, payer conversion, etc. And for avoidance of doubt, uh, the data was taken in June uh, 2015 from our post-install analytics uh, tool, uh, and it only concerns free-to-play games. Right, so um, we all know the uh, industry-wide uh, retention benchmarks, 40, 20, 10, right? 40, day, uh, day one, 20, day seven, and uh, 10, day, uh, day 30. But no one is really sharing that much, uh, and there is not uh, a lot of data available uh, with regards to genre-specific uh, retention rates. So we are happy to, to bring this up to you. Uh, this is iOS Day 1 retention rate for uh, strategy games that we saw in June 2015 on iOS. As you see, um, there is a world map, and the darker the color, the higher the retention. So the maximum was 56%, and the minimum was 25 As you see, um, Brazil um, and North America had the highest uh, retention rates, uh, and uh, also the entire Latin American uh, region. Um, and uh, and uh, countries like Russia and, and Australia had uh, not so, a uh, little bit lower. 
When we look on Google uh, on Android, uh, day one retention is uh, is a little bit uh, slightly different from iOS. The maximum was 49 day one, and uh, the minimum was 16. And in here, Southeast Asian countries were were leading, uh, and uh, some uh, Central European countries like Czech Republic, Croatia, Slovenia also uh, exhibited quite uh, uh, quite uh, high uh, retention rates, while Australia, across the board, iOS and Android uh, has uh, uh, much, much lower retention rates. So please keep that in mind when you are uh, creating your soft launch strategies or, or global launch strategies for your, for your strategy games. Next, uh, let's look into the uh, payer conversion uh, rates for strategy genre. Uh, it was a little surprising to see uh, that uh, Android was leading, but only with a slight margin. Um, so 1.24% of payers were converting to, uh, to uh, players converting to payers uh, on, on Android and 1.16 on, on iOS. However, um, even though uh, Google was leading a little bit with the conversion rate, the average uh, per transaction uh, amount was much, much higher on iOS. So Still, the money is, 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 is on that platform, and it's like 34% or so higher than, than on Android. Um, I also brought to you the average revenue per daily active user broken down by category and, uh, and by genre. So um, let's start with the, with the lowest ARPDAO, uh, which is uh, within a category for female midcore. Uh, the games are like uh, subgenres are simulation adventure, so it's really low. It's like one one cent on on, on Android and then two cents on iOS. A uh, little bit higher, Arbdao is on uh, a puzzle and world uh, word story and and card categories. So, uh, but this is the only category where Android was actually leading and leading by having five times uh, higher uh, Arbdao. Um, Male midcore, like shooter, racing, sport, simulation uh, games, had a average ARP level. And um, then, uh, not surprisingly, casino category, slots, bingo, blackjack, poker, any other social casino games uh, uh, had a third uh, highest ARP uh, a month. And uh, role playing games, um, slightly uh, lower uh, revenues than on strategy genre on Android, but almost identical on iOS. And of course, the king of genres uh, when it comes to commercial uh, upside is strategy games uh, 30 cents uh, per on, on Android and 33 cents on iOS. Right, so we looked at the, at the commercial side. Now, uh, let's also take a look at the um, five best uh, mobile uh, strategy game creatives that we saw on our platform. So um, at any given moment on, on Charbos platform, we're running thousands of different campaigns. So we, uh, we took a closer look uh, what makes a good creative and, uh, and why it is so. And we shortlisted five uh, best examples and I will show all of them to you and I will uh, explain what makes a good creative uh, in here. Um, first, a summary siege from our good friends uh, Space Ape Games. Uh, you can see the creative and uh, what makes it good is uh, first of all, a stack of characters from the gameplay uh, they are looking uh, straight towards uh, call to action and to logo. And uh, this trains uh, viewers' eye uh, on the essentials while still looking exciting and, and dynamic. Um, the logo free today. Uh, it creates a sense of urgency and motivating high install rates. And lastly, actual um, game characters and action, uh, actual uh, Screenplay uh, uh, ensures the potential players know exactly what they're gonna get when they click on the ad and when they're gonna end up on the on the landing page on the App Store. Next example is uh, Smash Monsters from a Thinking Ape. Um, what makes it good? Um, the colors complement each other and it creates a harmony. Um, you can also again uh, see the scene from the gameplay uh, with the same uh, with the sense of story. And it also highlights the diverse characters that the game has. And uh, lastly, um, there is App Store patch. Uh, it shows and proves legitimacy. And, uh, and it works as a seal of approval. 
the third example I chose is uh, Empires of Sand from Cody Games. Why I chose that is because uh, of the importance of localization. Um, especially if you run any ads outside of the English-speaking countries, it is essentially important to translate um, the, the header and then call to action to the, to the local language. Uh, next point, uh, good here is, uh, it follows the, uh, the natural human uh, nature and how the brain works in reading images in uh, the Z pattern. So in here, uh, the call to action is very smartly placed at the, at the end of the pattern. Uh, and uh, uh, basically it starts with the, with the name and then it goes to the uh, header, then it uh, heads down to App Store logo and it finishes with a call to action with a different color uh, and, and, and that uh, increased their, their conversion rates. Uh, the fourth example is uh, Galaxy Empire by uh, Tab for Fun. Um, the pop culture science fiction team uh, subconsciously adds sense of familiarity to the game, especially for those players who uh, like that genre. Uh, be it books, be it movies, uh, be it any uh, pop culture uh, media. Um, the five stars uh, both attract attention because of the warm and, and, and different color, and it also strongly signifies the quality of the game. Uh, and finally, call to action button matches aesthetics of the of the, of the game preparing players again before they end up uh, playing your game, what to expect in there. And finally, Tactical Heroes from Mi Republic. Um, multiple use of tactical uh, in here, so that improves your uh, App Store keyword optimization strategy. Good chances are that people, after looking at this ad a few times, uh, when they search it, they're gonna add the tactical into, into their uh, search. Um, there is a discrete arrow behind the uh, name of the game, pointing straight to, to call to action. And again, recurring theme, uh, screenshot of the game, of the actual game is both beautiful and informs players about the gameplay and what to expect. Okay, so we spoke about um, what is uh, making a good creative and good and effective creative. Now, um, we asked our good friends at Zynga Studios to share some tips and tricks uh, on the strategy and thought process when creating the, uh, the good uh, ad creative. Um, even though this whole presentation is around the strategy game genre, however, uh, most of those tips can be applied universally across all the genres. So first tip from Zynga was clarify your goals. Before getting started, identify one goal for your creative, uh, one key goal, uh, and, and stick to it. That goal can be conversion, and if it is, then uh, your headline and your call to action is the key element and then critically important. If you don't have the goal identified, you risk ending up uh, designing the creative based on your own preferences and habits rather than delivering something that is important and appealing to your target audience. The tip here from them, uh, once you settled on your ad's purpose, Tell yourself that the only reason you're doing this ad is, and why the screen is existing, is to achieve that goal. And that will help you shortlist core design elements, whether it's call to action, headline, or imagery. The second tip, and this is a little bit of analogy, imagine your game at a dinner party. When you're creating advertisement uh, for your game, think about all different publisher apps where that advertising is going to be shown, and all about the audiences that are going to see uh, your ad. And think about how they are different, but at the same time, your ad should appeal to them, so they, they, they take action. Uh, and analogy here is that imagine that your ad and your game is at a dinner party, but you don't know what is the dress code. And and yet still, you have to be comfortable 
uh, the host should be comfortable, the people around you should be comf comfortable and feel natural uh, by being around you. Also, present your brand in a manner that's clear, concise, and aligned with whatever public persona or, or stance you're trying to build and portray. Uh, you have to play a little bit uh, a role of the, of the brand psychologist. And lastly, a tip. Think about your James personality. Uh, is it friendly? Is it uh, witty? Is it brainy, sophisticated, funny? And uh, once you have that defined, translate these elements into, into, uh, to the user via your uh, interstitial. And if you've done that, uh, your job is done successfully. The third tip, um, follow the principles of good design. Bigger teams usually have uh, brand color palettes, which consists of two to five different uh, swatches that make, uh, that make up a brand personality. Uh, Zynga guys suggest to stick to the following framework. Um, passive colors for background imagery, uh, then highly active colors for your call to action, and uh, uh, high contrast colors for your game title and your creative. When it comes to images, keep in mind uh, another secret that they shared with us. Users generally respond very well to faces. Just look at the, uh, at the App Store and go to the strategy genre and you'll see the bunch of uh, screaming dudes' faces uh, within the icons. So there is a reason for that. And uh, second, uh, weaponry and weapon images usually work uh, also great for the strategy games. Uh, and if you don't have a, uh, a brand palette yet, uh, they suggest using uh, Adobe's color CC tool. It will generate the palette out of the single color swatch, for example, from your, from your uh, logo. The fourth tip is don't be afraid to break the rules. Don't worry too much about design, uh, about the rules such as maximum or minimum font or the uh, kind of color shade for your call to action and sizes of that. You will find yourself wondering uh, if you broke any rule it's probably time to take a step back and then focus on something, uh, something else. Um, and uh, the tip here is uh, try the guide guide, a Photoshop plugin, which basically divides your screen into nine uh, equal parts and it can ensure your uh, key elements uh, in, the strategically, in the strategic places uh, that works in harmony for, for your entire image. And uh, last but not least, um, test, optimize, uh, this, 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 this much you know, but don't go overboard. Um, even if you don't have a big team and a big budget, try an experiment. Um, ask a few team members from marketing, engineering, uh, et cetera, level designers to sit down and present them with you different examples of what you think is, 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 is a good add and then uh, measure what the click-through rates uh, this, this uh, exercise is going to deliver. And that most often uh, translates into, into uh, a rather clear picture. But with that said, uh, be cautious with overdoing optimizations. Don't spend too much time trying to just little tiny incremental uh, increase in your performance uh, while instead you can focus on something fun and more creative. And uh, the tip here is if you made 50 versions of one creative and you are obsessed about the metrics, it may be time to step back and do something more dramatic than just uh, switching images uh, to different places. Try, for example, showcasing completely different uh, gameplay element uh, instead. That's, uh, that's all I had to share with you uh, today. Um, up. Um, there are a few main take, uh, sorry, takeaways that I want you to remember and take it with you. So uh, day one, uh, retention rates on strategy games uh, on iOS are generally higher than on Android. Highest retention rate uh, recorded uh, is uh, in Latin America on iOS and in Southeast Asia and Central, Central Europe in, on, on Android. Um, while Android was leading by a slight margin in conversion, uh, the money is still on the iOS. It's 34% uh, higher uh, per transaction amount than, than on Android. Um, and best performing cat creatives had few design elements in common. Uh, 
Call to action creating sense of urgency, real gameplay screenshot and characters, Z pattern with a call to action at the end of the pattern, and add resemblance uh, with App Store landing page. Um, when planning the design for your ads, take into account following. Clarify your goals in advance, think about your game's uh, personality, follow the principles of good, of, of good design, uh, don't be afraid to break the rules, and don't over-optimize. And finally, my favorite part, um, have fun like, while, while doing it. Thank you so much. If you want to learn more, uh, head to our blog. We are publishing a few uh, articles every week uh, full of uh, tips and tricks and uh, best practices. And we are in the bronze area if you want to speak with us. Um, I think we still have a few, few minutes for the questions if you have. Thank you. Thank you so much for the talk. Um, so do we have questions? Hello. Hi. Um, we often have the discussions about uh, showing actual uh, screenshots or showing art in the, in the marketing assets. Uh, what's your opinion on, on that? Um, it's a very good idea. So basically, you have to train your, uh, your future potential players and you want and, and need to show them what they can expect from the from the ad uh, when they uh, from the app when from the game when they when they download it. So the the less differences between what you're trying to portray on on your uh, creative from your landing page and actual game, the, the 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 better. So it has to be harmony and it has to be like continuous story, continuous funnel from from the creative to the game open and the first level or 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 you know kind of further in the game. Thank you. Any more questions? Um, I was wondering, you said Central Europe has a higher retention. W why is it like that? Why especially Central Europe? And just if you look like or, um, over the border, you come to Germany and Austria. No, I think, I think it has a lot to do with, uh, with, uh, with player behavior and history. So these countries uh, were known for, 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 for you know, playing uh, strategy games before mobile even, even existed, mobile games. So, I mean, that, that is basically continuing uh, from platform to platform and, and mobile is, is no difference. Do we have more questions over there again? Um, do you think it's better to soft launch a game in a country with a high retention rate or in a country with a lower retention rate? <laughs> That's a good one. Um, it depends what if, if the retention is your primary goal or no. What you want? What KPIs do you want to? to uncover and improve uh, with your soft launch, right? If you want to check what is the retention, then you, you can launch anywhere. And, uh, and, you know, basically probably in the middle is, is your best shot. And, and, you know, think about also the costs and, you know, the, the highest retention uh, rate uh, countries don't necessarily have very uh, CPI friendly prices. Any more questions? Yeah, over there. Thank you. Uh, Thomas, uh, about you mentioned about uh, retention rates for mobile, right? So uh, w we had some speakers in the morning as well speaking about how uh, inside mobile it's really about getting featured on the stores and if there's a lot of social buzz around your apps. Yeah. Uh, in your experience, have you found that making the creative of the ad itself um, so I'm assuming if it's good, but my game is not really known f throughout the social media, people might install it but not stay on it because it's, the ad was good, but the game didn't, and vice versa. So uh, have you found that to be the case, that if the game is actually spoken a lot about on the social media and featured in Play Stores, uh, it really doesn't matter what the creative for the ad is, people just know it's a good game and they'll download it and, and vice versa? Very good question. So, so basically, if you have a viral effect already going on around the game, then it definitely uh, helps you with the, with the conversion and, and uh, you can even deploy 
the same message that you have around um, around uh, social networks or any other channels where where the people already talking about the game. So uh, add to the creative why why they talk about that game, what they say about the game, and that again helps uh, creating you know the kind of unified effect throughout your channels, and and that kind of improves and and, and kind of maintains the high high performance for for your entire uh, kind of campaign to to get the players on board. Yes, do we have more questions left? Okay, so I guess um, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. <coughs>